In this coding exercise, we have a relatively straightforward item that we need to process, and that is that we want to generate a set of breadcrumbs. And this is something, if you've ever seen on a website where, say, that it's a blog, and at the very top it might have things like the topic and the title, the author's name, something like that. And they're all placed in a row. And you can kind of see what we're looking for right here, where we want the ability to take in a set of strings and then to concatenate them all together. So here we have an array of three string elements. And what I want to do is place them all together as a single one. And instead of having commas separating them or just spaces, I want the ability to place in slashes. So this kind of mimics what you'd see in a breadcrumb generator. A good example of when you'd use something like this would be a Rails view helper method. There's many times where I want to dynamically create these type of components, and a great way of doing it is by implementing the solution that I'm going to do right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the method. So this is going to be the breadcrumb generator. It's going to take a set of strings and this is just going to be a collection. And then from there, all I have to do is call strings.join. And then inside of join, what uh, Ruby gives us with join is the ability to pass in how we want to separate it. So what I want to do is the ability to take in that string and then connect it in between with a space followed by a slash followed by another space. And that's going to take each one of these elements, string one, string two, string three, join merges them all together. So it's going to convert it from an array into a string. And then based off of the argument that we pass join, that's going to be what the separator resembles. So that's what we're going to have right here with these slashes. So let's test this out. So if I take in these values here, and let's say that I want to, uh, let's just say that I want to call breadcrumb generator pass in items just like this. This should give us our exact set of breadcrumbs. So running that code, you can see that worked perfectly. We have string one slash string two slash string three. So this is something that may seem very basic because the implementation is. However, if you've never used the join method or if you've never used it and passed in custom arguments, then you may not have known that that was there. But this is a pretty common thing that I do in my day-to-day -day Rails development, so I wanted to include it here. So let's verify that our tests are passing. So I'm going to open up a new window, say RSpec February 16th. Running that, you can see that all of our tests are passing.